Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown of my Philadelphia Eagles headed to Chicago to take on the Chicago Bears. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now so you can get all the hottest updates in sports from me. Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com. Now, without any further ado, let's hop right into the Monday night action. Coming to this football game, we saw last week my Philadelphia Eagles beat the hell out the Cleveland Browns, which I knew they was going to do. Uh, Carson Wentz, what can I say? The young man came out, even though it was against the Cleveland Browns, I'm not too high. Uh, but I saw him make some good throws. I saw him make some positive steps forward. You know that he didn't finish the preseason too well with that rib injury, but the Philadelphia Eagle defense has stepped up a little bit. The Philadelphia offensive line stepped up and blocked a couple of good defensive players that the Browns had. So I'm looking at that as a plus. Coming into this game, Jay Cutler, as always, even though he's not the best quarterback in the NFL, his arm strength. The way that he throws the ball makes him alive in any football game. When you're looking overall at, at, at his mistakes in the past, you throw that all out the window. John Fox is working with him. They've gotten better as far as their relationship. Alshon Jeffrey, and whatever you want to say, Alshon Jeffrey sometimes doesn't get credit for being a top wide receiver because he often is hurt, but the guy can catch the football. He is very good, very talented. That Bears defense is a young Bears defense. They blew it up. Now they've gotten a lot younger. They've made a lot of critical mistakes in the first game, but you got to keep in mind they're still learning. This is a young Bears defense. So when I look at the breakdown of both these things, I'm looking overall at just what happens uh, uh, in the critical times of the football game. Can the Philadelphia Eagles with Ryan Matthews and uh, Sproles, can they run the football and do those things? Jeremy Langford for the Bears, that's the only thing that scares me because when this guy gets the ball, he can he can possibly be a Matt Forte, formerly of the Bears, or he could possibly be a sledgehammer like a Steven Jackson. It just depends. He can catch the ball out the backfield, as we've seen in the past. He can also run straight in the middle, or he has the speed to break away to the side. That could be the X factor in this football game. So the Philadelphia Eagles, you're going to have to throw the kitchen sink at Jay Cutler, blitz occasionally, get blitz happy. And I think that overall, Carson Wentz is going to be able to lead this football team to the victory. I have my Philadelphia Eagles winning this one in the very close game. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. Both teams drop about 32 apiece or uh, 32 above. Um, but when I when I break down all the, the stats that I've been reading into, when I break down all the, the the information from the first game, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between these two teams. It could be a close game, high 30s, and I'm looking for the Philadelphia Eagles to slowly edge away uh, towards the last part of the football game. I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles to win this football game. Uh, all you Eagles fans, all you Bears fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the hottest updates in sports. And as always, check us out next week where we break down all the breakdowns for next week and week three. Thank you.